Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who sent Peter and John about to go into the temple as an alum. And Peter fastened, fastened his eyes upon him with John, said, Look on us. He gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Sin and gold have I none, but such as I have given I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth, wise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he leaped up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walked and leaped and praised God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm expecting greater. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Come on, y'all can open up your mouth and talk to your neighbor. Who has the church over there? Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm expecting greater. Amen. Come on and put your hands up. Good God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, here we in this text. It says, Now, Peter and John were together into a temple at the hour of prayer, at the ninth hour. Can I get away? Yes. And there was a certain man laying there from his brother's womb, who is a man that said too well to walk. Can I get away? Yes. And he lay daily at the gate, at the temple. They call this temple a beautiful temple. Can I get a witness? But when he saw Peter and John, he passed his eyes upon them. He, they said, look on us. And he came to them and prayed to receive something. They said, I don't have silver and I don't have gold. I don't have money. But I got a man called Jesus. See, he sees us in spite of what you're going through. Can I get a witness? Well, I'm expecting to receive something in the right about it. I believe while this man was laying at the gate, he found that he was tired in his body and he could not walk. Can I get a witness? But he began to place his eyes on Peter and John. Can I get a witness? While placing his eyes on them, they said, look on them. They said, look on us, we have something greater. Can I get a witness? We have something better than a wash all your troubles away. Can I get a witness? Because God can heal the sick and he can raise the dead. Am I right about it? So when you're sick in your body, God will heal you. I don't care what it looks like. If you expect to something greater, come on and put those hands together and give God some praise. See, I've been praying the Lord to lose in my life. Can I get a witness? I've been bound up and I've been in the law for the Lord. Shake me again, Lord, and mold me and cleanse me. Can I get a witness? But I've been praying the Lord just to heal my body. I want to touch my life. Can I get a witness to the Lord? See, I want the Lord just to move some things out of the way that's not like God. Can I get a witness? See, when I look up to Jesus, because He's the author and the finisher of your faith, can I get a witness? See, we hear the earth that God said, all you got to come is from the Lord. Can I get a witness? So whatever your situation is, I know that God can turn it around. Can I get a witness? If you can put, put your trust in the Lord, if you pray just a little while longer, in the right about it. But I'm expecting greater. Can I get a witness? I know that God has something greater for me. You've been down for too long. You've been struggling on the other side. But I come to the next to know that there is a God that kills. Can I get a witness? If you catch the kill upon the Lord, He will give you rest. Can I get a witness? Is there anybody going to say, I'm tired and weary? But I got to keep on pushing the burden. Though I'm weak, but God will make me strong. Can I get a witness. Uh, I feel like preaching already. Uh, and all I know about it, uh, say yes, uh, say yes. Uh. So while Peter and John grab this man by the hand uh, and they begin to let this man uh, know that all you need is just a little faith. 
I ain't got no money. I ain't got no job. I got bills due. Lord said, I'm here. He said, I'm here. We you're not, we you're not. When everything else seems to fail, can I get a witness? He said, I'm here right at the end of the road. Can I get a witness? I said, he's right at the end of the road. Oh, Lord. Can I get a witness? I promise you tonight, if you just get a praise, your breakthrough is in your praise.
expect God and expect greater in your life. Just like this young man did with the Bible in Acts. He expected his healing because he knew that God was going to bring him through. Can I get a witness? It takes hold of just a little bit of faith. Faith, faith, faith. Just a little bit of faith. That's all I need. According to being courage. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on and put that and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Is there somebody in here tonight or this afternoon? Amen. Is there somebody here tonight that been going through something and you want God to bring you out? Today is your day. Can I get a witness? It, it seems like the them been all on you, but you're a winner tonight. Man. That message, I didn't plan that message. That one, not this what I was going to speak on. I had another message, but God changed it, said right down the ground. But I know what God can do. See, what God. See, what God has for me. It is for me. And I'm going to turn it around. What God has for you, it is for you. If you're expecting God to do something, just reach up, reach up right now and say, God, do it for me right now. Because I'm expecting greater. Come on and give God some praise. Give him praise.